Hi, this is a short video to show you how to draw a triangle of forces vector diagram. A triangle of forces vector diagram is a representation of a system of forces. And if a system of forces and their coplanar forces are in equilibrium, the system can be represented by the sides of a triangle. And that's what we're going to do over here. First, we draw a horizontal line with a starting point, and then we're going to draw our first vector. Our first vector is going to be this one here, 9.81 newtons acting straight down. So if I take my protractor over to our starting point here, and I carefully measure around to 90 degrees. I'm just lining up the protractor with the crosshairs the line at the zero there and the line at the zero there to make sure it's placed accurately. And then I'm going to make a mark at 90 degrees. I'm going to join that up with a very faint line like so. Now it's 9.81 Newtons. So uh, we need to think about scale. So I think one Newton per centimetre should suffice. There, let's write that up. Scale one centimeter equals one newton. Right, let's have a go here. Nine point eight one, so at nine centimeters, nine point eight centimeters. There we go, that should take us to there. And there's our first vector. And it's acting straight down. So I'm going to show the direction. Now, if I put an arrow on the end, I run the risk of losing that accurate end point there. So I'm going to put the arrow, the direction arrow, halfway down. Next up, that's this one here. Next up, we're going to do this vector here. This is 9.24 newtons, and it's acting up from the horizontal at 21 degrees. So it's going to go up in this direction here. So I take my protractor again and I put the crosshairs back on the origin there. Carefully line up the zero here and the zero on this side too. Oops, let's have another go. There we go. And I measure around 21 degrees. So here we go, 10, 20, 20, one degrees there. And I Again, I'm going to draw a faint line first. There's our faint line first. Now, the, uh, the magnitude of this vector is 9.24 newtons. And because our scale is one centimetre to one newton, I'm going to measure 9.2, something like 9.24. It's roughly halfway between those two. Marks there, here we go, from the end there. There's our second vector, and that's acting in that direction. So again, I'm going to show the direction here with an arrow. I've placed it in the middle. You can place it on the end if you like. Now, the next vector is this one here, and that's 37 degrees up from the horizontal. Now, I want to draw it from the end of this vector here, back up to the top of the triangle there. But that angle there is not going to be 37 degrees. It's actually going to be a little bit more. Now, if I place a rule on here, that angle down here is going to be the same as this angle here. So if that's 21 degrees, I know the total here is going to be 58 degrees. So I can put my protractor on the end of this line here, making sure I get the crosshair on the end of the vector. There we go. Line up a zero there. And that's going to be 58 degrees round from here. So that's 50 degrees, 55, 6, seven, eight, 58 degrees there. Now, I'm hoping that if I join this dot here with the end of that vector there, 
I'm hoping it's going to join up with the top of the triangle there. Let's draw a faint line to start with. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Now, it doesn't always join up, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Let's draw that in a bit. A bit darker, there we go. Put my arrow on. A couple of reasons for it not joining up here. If you draw this triangle and it doesn't join up there, one of the reasons could be that the system is not in equilibrium, but it's more likely um, to be an error in your construction here, maybe not being accurate enough with your protractor or the length of the vectors there. Or it may be from the original information. It may be that these figures here aren't that accurate. But there we have our vector diagram. Uh, and it's a triangle of forces. You can see that they go nose to tail, nose to tail, nose to tail. So if a system of three coplanar forces is in equilibrium, it can be represented by the sides of a triangle. And that is triangle of forces.